Okay, now that I got the crankcase tearing apart and I showed you guys the stock uh, camshaft, let me go ahead and break down a few other parts to you guys. Okay, as you can see, we have our dyno cam over here on the left and our stock cam on to the right. And to Jesse, uh, my buddy Jesse, I'm sorry I lied to you, but uh, it turns out I actually compared these two and it looks like it actually has a longer duration. The lift looks the same. This one has a shorter duration. You can tell by the peaks on the cam. If you look at the very top of the cam, it's a much shorter peak. It looks about the same lift though. But when we compare this to the new dyno cam, look at the top of the lobe. It looks more like a hill. That definitely looks like more like a hill. So the duration is longer, not the lift. I should have known better. But yeah, sorry to lie to you like that, buddy. I had no idea until I actually pulled the cams out and looked at them. But onward and forward with the project. So what we got going on here is we're gonna end up pulling out that uh, governor gear right there, along with that uh, governor arm. That looks like it's been epoxied to the uh, casing. Nasty stuff. And we're gonna, I already got all the factory oil drained out and all that stuff but we're gonna go ahead and proceed forward with this project and we'll get back to you all right so getting back to you guys for the second time I got the governor gear pulled out we're getting ready to get rid of that uh governor arm crank um, throttle control arm and then to do that I have to remove the gas tank and do all that stuff and then we're gonna go ahead and place I believe, yep, this one right here, the dyno cam with the longer duration. Has the same lift as the stock one, I do believe, but it's just a longer duration. You can tell by the lobes. That one's got a fatter lobe. And this one looks like it's got a much skinnier lobe at the top. So, they have the same lift, just longer duration on this one way longer duration and I could tell the difference because the dyno cams has this big old looks like a anchor for the compression release and this one the stock one has just its little mechanism arm not as fancy looking all right, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing all that stuff, and I will get back to you guys. Stick around. All right, as you can see, we've got the gas tank moved. We're getting ready to remove the throttle linkage, throttle control arm. So we're going to remove that little clip right there, and then we're going to proceed to slide that arm out. Alright, so I ran into a little problem. Turns out when I shove, I have to cut this part off because it's too long to come all the way out. It runs into the lower cam. And yeah, it's, it's, I've tried it always. It's not going to come out. So the only way it's going to come out is if I dremel off the top part. So we'll get back to you on that. There we go. And there's that. 
should be able to pull that sucker right on out. All right, so after cutting that off, I should be able to slide this out all the way. Hold on a sec. Let me get something to shut through here. Bam, there we go. She's all the way out. And that's how you do the full governor removal without the bypass. This is the actual removal. Gosh darn it. And there you go. Governor arm fully removed. So let's get ready to set the, uh, the 265 cam in place. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab our 265 cam, dyno cam. We're gonna line up the notch marks. I'm gonna set it down here into its little gully. But we wanna make sure these dots are lined up exact. And try to slide her into her hole. Make sure, making sure we're lined up. Bam. Exact. And there you go. She's got a cam. Next thing we have to do is the billet aluminum rod, the billet aluminum flywheel. I've already got the chromoly push rods and the 26 pound valve springs. It's just time and money, folks. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and throw it back together. And this should be a hoop. Stick around.
right, so that was the full-on cam installment for the Predator 212. Don't forget about our free sticker giveaway, which I will have the link down below. And you are watching Spike TV, first network for men. I am Spike Man Dan. I salute thee who watches this. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these videos. Always just check in, like, do it all that. And, uh, yeah, um, if you guys are interested in a free sticker, I am more than happy to send you one right away. Uh, so far, I've had three free sticker giveaways. Why you guys are not getting up on this sooner, I do not know. My name is Spike Man Dan. Again, check out the uh, link down below. We'll have that posted up here down three times, four times, <laughs> however many times it takes. Just be sure to send me your mailing address in my email and I will be more than happy to send you guys out whatever parts or whatever stickers you need. I got a box full of Coleman CT100U stock parts along with uh, Predator 212 parts. So if you guys are in the need and you're hurting, I'm the guy you want to see. Yo. So, like I said, don't forget the like button and subscribe.